Microsoft has explained how developers will be able to wring more power out of Xbox One's GPU now that Kinect is no longer mandatory. 10% of the console's graphics processing unit is typically reserved for Kinect functionality, so now the motion camera is no longer compulsory, this can be reallocated. Now, Microsoft Studios' Ken Lobb has told Eurogamer what this means in practice and reassured current Kinect owners that voice control and game capture will still be perfectly viable despite the changes. Lots of people ask, so, you're taking back the GPU reserved for Kinect. Well, does that mean I can't say Xbox record that? No, you can always say that, Lobb explained. If someone says Xbox record that, it will work on 100% of the games if you have a Kinect. He continued by revealing that Microsoft has reworked the console into using a flexible system, where it can bounce the GPU and RAM dependent on what you want to do. Just because you don't have a Kinect doesn't mean you have more RAM though, the company has optimised the console's operating system to support flipping back and forth. So it'll listen to you some of the time and then pull back if it's needed for a frame to go. He said, record that, go record this thing. And you have to count for that whether you're using Kinect or not. But you get the full memory and the full bandwidth. Of course, all this assumes developers support Kinect. If a studio wants to go ahead and create a title in which Kinect plays no part, then gesture controls and visual recognition will be suspended while the game runs. Once it's minimised, however, it's business as usual. While it'll be up to the devs to decide how to use the extra resources, Destiny creator Bungie has confirmed it's already been able to increase the FPS and resolution of Destiny on Xbox One to match the PS4, signalling this could be the long-awaited change that Microsoft needs to make to close the performance gap between it and the PS4. For all the latest gaming news, be sure to stay with IGN.